So we've already done a session on editing with iMovie for the iPad. Using the iPhone is virtually the same. So if I open this project and you will recognize this from the green screen editing session. So the functionality is the same. If I click the question mark, I get a lots of information. So I'm just going to select my clip here. And that gives me the functionality underneath. So I can cut the clip. I can change the speed. So let's cut the clip here. I just slide down and the clip gets cut and that gives me a default transition which is nothing there so I'm just going to leave that. I can change the speed as I mentioned earlier by just dragging one finger to the left or to the right and that increases or slows it down. I can also add titles by clicking the T. I can add LUTs which are pre-made and built in. So let me just select, uh, select this one for now. And you'll see the change in a minute when we play it because I've only affected one clip with this. So let's just have a play. And there's the color change and it goes back to the way it was. I can import media exactly the same as I can on the iPad. And I've got all the same options. Again, I can import audio, whether it's a soundtrack or import my own music. There's lots of pre-made soundtracks in there as well. If I've got iCloud, I can import files. So it's virtually the same as working on the iPad. The difference is the iPad's got a much bigger screen and I prefer to work on a bigger screen. And I'm aware lots of you guys will have iPhones and iPods um, and iPads and so on. So you might start editing or filming on one device and you might want to move to a different device. The great thing about working in iMovie, you can save the project and open it on any other device. So you can start it on the iPad, finish it on the iPod or finish it on the iPhone or even finish it on a MacBook, for example. Guys, thank you so much for watching this session and I'll see you in the next one.